Hey guys, what's up? Look at me! I'm hands-free vlogging today! Woo! With my hands. It's exciting. What? Okay. Anyways, I wanted to do it this way because I figured I would just go ahead and share with you how my week of being away from baby was for me. And it was my first time being away from baby ever overnight. It was super sad. It was kind of one of those out of sight, out of mind, yet I wanted to see pictures, yet I couldn't see too many pictures or I'd, my heart would just break and it was enough to just, mm, mm. and I was like, just get through it, Lisa, and then you'll be home. Okay, that was just the personal way I handled it. <laughs> but I wanted to explain how I handled just the whole thing and giving baby all that she needed while I was away. But first, I wanted to give you guys your delayed Sunday shout out. I apologize for the delay of the vlogs. I, what, missed Saturday's vlog, putting one up because all day Friday I was filming, but then Friday evening was the big production, the big show, and then right after we had to change to get ready and go to the after party, which you guys have seen by now in yesterday's video because I have to uploaded it a day late. Sorry. Anywho, then I had to wake up and hop on a plane, get here, which is home in LA, and get ready, kind of breathe a second. I was exhausted, you guys. Anywho, take a shower, go to a baby shower, and then after that, I was exhausted. Just beat completely. I, I, I couldn't even stay awake. I forced myself to stay awake till like 9, 9.30, and I just went to bed. I, I couldn't put a video up. I couldn't edit it. My brain was just... Yep, it made that noise every now and again. Anywho, so I feel bad. I'm sorry. I was a little weird. I didn't want to miss an upload, but I did. And I thought, okay, I'll put up two. Well, then uh, all day Sunday, I was just editing um, the vlog that I put up yesterday and then the videos, the Mommy Monday videos you're going to see today. So then, yeah, there was really nothing to report to you guys. Absolutely nothing. I, that's all I did. I just sat at my desk and edited all day, hung out with Baby Malamber as much as I could, and that was it. Okay? So I figured you guys didn't want a boring vlog and I couldn't really think of anything to talk about because I had so much to do. Okay? So there's that. Let's go back. Sunday shout out, right? It is to XX was XX Monster. They said, 1v1 me, Anastasia. All caps, fight me. And I get you were trying to be cute and that's funny, but it's kind of funny at this point now, ironic, in that I actually did have a fight with Anastasia and we are no longer friends. So there's that. And that is for another vlog. I'll explain what happened later. But, uh, <laughs> moving along. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I did to prepare and handle and deal with being away from my seven and a half month old baby for one week as a breastfeeding mom. So first of all, I pumped, 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 pumped like crazy while I was still here. I would say roughly about a month-ish, I pumped like crazy and would get about four to six ounces extra every day. And I would take that and put it in the freezer for the week that I was gonna be gone so that Alex could have enough. And you guys, I can't even explain to you, it was literally to the day, yes, of that I got enough milk. I got a little bit extra, I got like one extra serving for just in case, because you never know. But didn't want to have to put her on formula, and I was worried about what would happen if she were to be on formula while I was away and she would have a reaction, and I'm not here to help save the day. That's the, the boob, whatever. Anyways, so I pump, pump, pumped, got the storage up for that for the week, so yay, awesome. Thank you God for producing enough milk for me to feed Alex while I'm gone. And also, Alex is on solids now. So I, to make it easy for Daddy Malambri, just went ahead and made a bunch of different recipes and put them into four ounce portions. It took me a few hours to do this, but I did enough for like a week and a half worth of food. I made pear and carrot meal. I made a acorn squash and peach meal. I made a sweet potato and mango meal, which was her favorite. Apparently she loved that and I made avocado, banana, and squash meal. And that was kind of like, I had uh, so much squash left over, and avocado banana is her fave, like she just loves that. Pretty much anything with banana in it, she will eat it. 
So I figured the squash is kind of not amazing in itself, so I just mashed it together with avocado and bananas. Boom! And you know what? And I put them actually inside of the breast, the freezer bag, the breast milk freezer bags. These, right? I'm not necessarily trying to promote Lanzano, if that's even how you say it, but um, these bags, I've read a lot of great reviews on them, and I don't know, I just use these and they're great. They're great. They're fantastic. Whee! And I just filled the food up into here in four ounce servings. I measured them out in four ounces, put them in here, and squeeze them all down, put them in the freezer, and it was super easy for Daddy Malamber to just like stick it in the bottle warmer for a few minutes to kind of get it mushy, or if, hopefully he had put it out the night before and it would get mushy, but the bottle warmer helped warm it up just a little bit. Didn't want to make it warm warm because I don't want her to get used to just warm foods only. I want her to be able to take in cooler foods. So anywho, uh, just cut it right off, dump it in a bowl, and boom, you got your serving. There it is. It's easy peasy. And then he, I wrote out a schedule for him and how many ounces per serving to give her, and it was awesome. So Alex is on a schedule, and that helped out big time for Daddy Malambri because it's super easy. Just keep up her schedule and feed her how much she's supposed to have and when, and it's all good. It's good, good, good. Schedules are good. Her schedule actually just changed because she's now eight months old. But before, she would wake up at eight, have breakfast, uh, 9 o'clock she'd have her solids, 9.30, 9.45 back down for a nap, then she was up again at 11.30, then noon feed, which means bottle, she'd get her noon bottle, and then a 1 o'clock solids, 1.30 nap, up at 3, maybe 3.30, then she'd eat at 4, which is another bottle, 5.15, 5.30 she'd go down for a cat nap, up at 6, 6.15, then 7 o'clock bath, 7.30 bedtime bottle, and then in bed, in her crib by 8. Schedules are amazing, right? Because it's predictable. You know what you can do and what baby wants and what you can get done in the times according to her schedule. Great. Everyone's happy. She's getting her to sleep. Baby's happy. Daddy's happy. Mommy's happy. All right, so what I take with me when I left for a week away from baby, I brought my little milk cooler with me. I already have this, so I brought it with me, but it's too small for a week's worth of frozen milk. And I brought a bunch of ice packs I already have. I just pulled these out of the freezer and they are kind of wet. But I brought this one big one, because it's really, I mean, just really great, right? And then a bunch of gel packs, which they're frozen right now. Yeah. But I brought a bunch of these, well, one of these and like five or six of these because I knew that I was going to purchase another cooler and have it shipped to the hotel. I had seen this, I like this, it's tall. Skinny and tall, and it's perfect for, where'd that bag go? <laughs> right here. For these bags, look at this, okay? Boom, and it's, look at how, look at that size of that. Boom, see? Perfect. And so when they're frozen, you just stack them in there. It's amazing, and I just stuck this on the bottom, and then I put, all of the free, the frozen milk, stacked them up top, bam, 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 or sideways, or however they fit, this, whatever, and I would put some gel packs on the front, and back, and sides, um, and also on top. So this was shipped to the hotel, and um, I just brought one bag, basically, of these, you buy the breast milk bags in this box, and they come in a bunch of multiple bags of this, which I think are there's 25 little bags in this pack. And then I knew the hotel that I was going to be staying at provided refrigerators for your room. I mean, if you, as long as they had availability. And I had called ahead and thrown the whole breast milk thing out, and they made sure that I had a refrigerator reserved. I was worried because it has only this little container of frozen section, <laughs> and I was worried that that wasn't going to be enough space, but I was going to do the best that I could with it. It turned out, if you saw my previous vlogs, that it, the whole thing turned out to just be a f big icebox in itself. It froze our food, it busted open some bottles, it was a mess. So they brought us another refrigerator, which luckily they had, and we used that as a refrigerator, and then we kept the icebox, I'll dub it, as the breast milk freezer. So my milk, I just laid it flat in the freezer part, just kind of up against the side like this so that they wouldn't come all the way flat, because I didn't know if that was going to be too long, and I just kind of folded it up like about here, so they were these little flat discs like that. The last few days, two days, I didn't freeze them, I just kept them in the refrigerator 
because frozen milk, if, once it's thawed, it needs to be used within 24 hours. Refrigerated milk that's never been frozen can be saved for up to a week, basically. So I thought, well, if any of my frozen stash is gonna end up thawing on the trip home, I could use that the following day for Alex. But if a lot of it thaws out, too much thaws out, I'm gonna have to throw away the excess because it's not gonna be good anymore. I could use the freezer stash first that's been thawed out, and then the uh, just refrigerated, non-frozen milk right after. And then I can just keep pumping and putting it in the freezer. Boom, boom, pump, boom. I don't know what this is, but it's, it's kind of fun. Uh. And uh, <laughs> what made this all you know, more streamlined is I love the Medela Freestyle Pump. Now, mind you, none of this is sponsored, whatever. I'm simply just telling you this t as from one breastfeeding mom, well, I'm not breastfeeding, well, I am, but what is it called? I'm giving breast milk and she goes on the boob once a day, but not all day. But is that still considered breastfeeding, right? Whatever, she drinks the, the breast milk. And uh, this has been amazing, super helpful, because I'm busy. I can't freaking sit and just be like, meh, 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 you know, and being limited to what I can do because I need to multitask. Like, crazy, this is perfect, because it has this little clip here, and I just clip it right onto my pants, and I have this hands-free bra that's just the strapless that goes around. It's like, bum, bum, bum. And then I have the pump parts here, and then I have this thing all connected to me, and then this thing connected to my pants, and I'm just like, go, 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 edit, edit, edit. I can get a drink. It is difficult to pick baby up, but it is doable if needed. Uh, otherwise, I can do whatever I want. It's great. So if this was helpful, especially while I was traveling. Oh, one last thing. So traveling back, with all of the breast milk, I was Googling, looking up on TSA to see what the maximum amount I could bring of breast milk, and nowhere, I couldn't find anywhere, anything addressing the quantity or max quantity of breast milk being able to travel with. That you can travel with breast milk through security in excess of the requirements of any other normal liquid, because they consider it a medical liquid, you need it, da da da. Lots of controversy there. I think they just were like, okay, just moms are crazy. Just take your boobin milk, just take it. Anyhow, I was worried that me hauling these two bags filled with breast milk was gonna be a problem, and it's actually not. Supervisor was totally chill about it. He's like, no, he's like, you just bring whatever you need. That's, those were his words verbatim. Whatever you need, you can bring. I was like, awesome, thank you. However, I did have to go through extra screening it was as if, it was like extra, extra screening. So they had to like pat down everything of my belongings, put their hands in it, test some of the thought out milk. The frozen milk, they didn't even test, so apparently that was easy for them. They, the gal was really happy that not every single bag was thought out. <laughs> she was like, yes, they're frozen, sweet, and she just sent it through. Um, and yeah, so my shoes they had to test, my hands they had to test, they obviously had to give me the pat down. So just allow yourself some extra time for that, I guess. Um, 15 minutes for that scenario alone, I suppose. I had to wait a little bit for someone to help me. But otherwise, it was smooth sailing, guys. It was amazing. And um, couldn't have asked for a better first time experience away from baby. <laughs> My heart sucked. I was so happy to get back, you guys. So happy. And uh, But I don't think I'll have to be away for a week again. Uh, I don't know when next. But I will have to go... Uh, I will be traveling this weekend and I'll only be gone for like two and a half days, which will be a breeze compared to what I just went through. And hopefully the this hotel will have also refrigerators. Not ho everyone, every hotel will, I bet though. And I don't know what to do in that scenario. My thought was worst case, I would ask them if they could make space for my cooler uh, in, their fr in their freezer in the restaurant or something. I'll let you guys know, so we'll see. I do have a strong feeling that I, we, I won't be able to get a refrigerator for my room in Chicago this week. I don't know where we're staying. I believe we're staying at the Hard Rock, so I'll have to look into that. But if they don't, I'll let you know how it goes down, what happens, what uh, choices I have to make there. I'm sweating. Turn the air conditioner off for you guys. Sheesh. All right, I gotta go. I gotta edit this, it's gonna be late, so I apologize once again. But stick around for some Mommy Monday videos. It's gonna get raw, you guys. Today, we are delivering Alex crazy times all right so yeah i think in the beginning i'm gonna need a disclaimer it's gonna say that 
uh, warning, graphic content ahead, or whatever the saying is about that. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Just in time. It's my alarm to go uh, to get Alex and feed her and stuff. So. You guys have been fabulous. It's been an awesome hands-free vlog. Thank you for watching and hopefully I've been helpful to any of you moms or future moms out there about traveling as a breastfeeding mom away from your baby um, and how to do it. So if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them and I'll be doing more. These were mostly focused for Mommy Monday videos so that's why I haven't put anything up yet because Alex is hasn't been born yet so there hasn't been anything to talk about as far as the series is concerned but definitely anytime there's any questions you guys ask them in the comments below and I'll be definitely addressing my favorites and negatives and pros and cons of items and being mommy and decision making whatever up ahead so stay tuned stick around for some life not yet rated today on Monday every Monday and I'll just see you guys tomorrow in the vlog about life, my life, giving it to you every day. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber, I heart your faces. If you're not, I heart your faces too because I know you're going to subscribe right now, right? You're going to subscribe right now and I heart your faces big time for that. Anyways, you guys have been a fabulous audience and I'll check y'all later. Just have a wonderful day, okay? Have a wonderful day. I'm sweating balls, man. Like the back of my knees, it's like wet. Is it, can you see? Can you tell that it's wet right there? Ugh, so gross. Oh, I'm out of here. Peace. Look at my shorts. Yeah! Huh. Jackie Poo, you want some ice cream? Do you want some Rupert Float? You want me to pour some for the homies? Yeah?